Hey, what's up guys? John here, and I recently took another trip to South Africa. I went back to one of Volunteer Southern Africa's projects where you work with cheetahs. I originally went to this program five years ago back in 2015 and it's run by Desmond and Aliska, two amazing people with years of experience working with and caring for wild animals. Like many other projects out there, when you come to volunteer, you'll help take care of different animals that can't be released back into the wild. However, the biggest thing that makes this project so incredible and unique is that you're actually working towards releasing the cheetahs into the wild. In fact, just about a month ago, they successfully released two of their caracals. And the work that they're doing there is already having a positive impact on the wild cheetah population. When I first went to this project five years ago, I showed you what you can expect as a volunteer. They recently relocated to a brand new facility where they can continue their amazing work and also offer a lot more for the animals and for volunteers. On a typical day at this program, we meet up at about 6.30 in the morning and have breakfast before starting work at 7 a.m. I've made a bunch of these videos now, so as I'm sure you guys know, we'd start out by cleaning the enclosures. A great thing about this program is that they have probably some of the largest enclosures I've ever seen. Obviously no enclosure is ever going to be as big as the wild, but they've done such an amazing job here of creating an environment where the cheetahs can run around and they have a lot of space. As I've said many times before, working with animals, it's not always glamorous, it's not just playing with the animals all day. There's a lot of prepping meat, there's a lot of scooping poop, but no matter what you do, there's always ways to make it fun. So knowing that they're going to be released into the wild is a really humbling feeling just because you feel like you're actually contributing to their greater life and what they'll experience in the wild and it's really nice to know that you're making a difference in the cheetahs' lives. And you're making a difference for the survivability of the species as a whole. During your off time, when you're not working, you can go and cool off by the pool. You can go in and spend some time with the smaller cats. Since some animals do have to be in captivity, this is good enrichment and stimulation for them. But one animal that I was really looking forward to seeing again and spending time with is the cute little meerkat, Zulu. Zulu is such a fun and mischievous little character, he usually takes a liking to the girls, but this time I like to think that we started to form a friendship. Each day the volunteers would take him out for a walk and let him just run around and explore new things. Around the farm, you'll get to see different free-roaming wild animals. But one thing I found really interesting was we went out one day and we placed some camera traps. It's always funny seeing what kind of animals it'll pick up and the things that you don't always see during the day. Since many of the cheetahs here are born in captivity, before they're able to be released, it's important that they know how to hunt. And just like last time, the thing I was really looking forward to was going out on a cheetah hunt. Just like other cats, cheetahs are born with certain natural instincts. However, being able to hunt successfully in order to survive in the wild, that is something that they need to learn and perfect over time. The cheetah hunts are such a crazy and unique experience, we get up before sunrise and we take the cheetahs out into the bush. It's early morning and we're out on our hunting training exercise with Kiara. As you can see, she's on a harness. It's not for volunteer entertainment or for fun or for making money. It's simply to train this cat to stay away from dangerous animals like zebra, giraffe, things that can kill her. 
as you're walking through the bush and you're with this cheetah, there's this feeling of excitement. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't know how the hunt is going to go. After walking for a while through different types of terrain, she finally spotted her prey. Once that cheetah zeroes in on her prey, we all crouch down very low. You feel your heart pumping and you have to be ready for that moment when she decides to run. You're running through the African bush, feeling the adrenaline coursing through your veins and your heart's just beating out of your chest. She took off running up this hill, but now we're spreading out trying to find her. Whew. I think made a successful kill, but um, hard part is now finding the cheetah. My breath in about five seconds. She ran pretty fast. <laughs> When we were close to some blessed buck, she spotted them and she done a really good stalk and a chase, but somehow they eluded her today. She doesn't normally miss, but she's quite tired now. She's run probably a good 450, 500 meters. So she needs to rest now and I don't think she'll hunt, try hunt again today in this heat. But it was a good exercise for her. It's all training and learning for her for the day that she's eventually set free onto a bigger natural reserve. Things don't always go the way you plan, and we didn't get to see her make a takedown that day. But a few days later, we went out in the evening time, and we gave it one more try. This time we went out with two of the cheetahs, and the older, more experienced cheetah was showing the younger cheetah how to perfect the hunting skills. When you get to see something like that right in front of you, not only is it very surreal, but there's something so beautiful about seeing the culmination of years of hard work. These cheetahs go from being little and not being able to fend for themselves, to now being ready to take on the world and survive in the wild, and there's something so beautiful about that. Many of the cheetahs that we've trained to hunt on harnesses like this are now living lives free on reserves and are very, very successful hunters. So we're living in a very interesting time in history. There's a lot of craziness going on in the world, but we're also living in a time when people are just more aware, more aware of social issues, more aware of the environment, and more aware of our personal impact on the planet. A lot of us now are thinking more about the state of the planet and what we can do to better take care of it. I'm not gonna sit here and say that going and volunteering in Africa is the only way to help the planet and the only thing there is to do. But for you guys that are passionate about animals, if you wanna have a personal hand in increasing the number of cheetahs in the wild, if you wanna help with bringing a species back from the brink of extinction, and you wanna know that what you're doing is really making a difference, then this is an incredible place to do that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit the like button if you do. And tell me in the comments, what's one positive change you'd like to see in the world today? Or what will you do to help make the world a better place? Because big or small, we can all do things to positively impact the planet around us. Leave a comment down below, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you very soon with another new adventure.